being a perfect multilingual, does your child need to be perfect in every language? Let's face it, we all have high aspiration when it comes to our children. To want the best for our children is in the nature of every parent. But is it really necessary that our kids speak every language perfectly? Is that even possible? Let's figure it out. Hi there, Andre here. Join me and other cosmopolitan parents by subscribing to this channel and my mailing list. Here you will find useful information, tips and practical advice to raise your multilingual children successfully. Sooner or later, every parent needs to put their expectations and reality into perspective. The truth is that we tend to want a lot of our children. And more often than not, we, we end up stressing ourselves and the kids out. Sometimes all of this happens unconsciously. This is a burning topic, particularly for multilingual families, because the lives of cosmopolitan people tend to be complex by nature. So let's explore a bit how the expectations towards multilingual children often mismatch reality. It's scary and a bit tragic, to be honest, to witness again and again what society expects of multilingual children. I don't know how many times I've heard people say, oh wow, the child speaks perfectly three languages. That always gets me thinking. How in the world can that person judge whether a child speaks perfectly all those languages? Often the person judging cannot even understand one or more of those languages. Besides, just because a child says a few words or some phrases or knows how to count to 10 in a given language doesn't mean at all that the kid dominates the language. The thing is, comments like this put multilingual families and children under a lot of pressure because parents of multilingual children know their children and they also know in which areas the child has his strengths. The underlying expectation of comments with the word perfect in it is that multilingual children should dominate at the level of a mother tongue two or more languages, both in verbal and in written form. That causes stress and puts pressure on multilingual families because we then think that that is how it's supposed to be. And that is simply wrong. First of all, children learn those languages better in which they are more often exposed to. In most cases, the language that develops the most is the majority language once the child goes to preschool or school. It is very, very hard to expose a child equally to all languages. So, a multilingual person will always have a stronger and a weaker language. And this can change over time, depending on how much exposure and use a language gets. Another thing that people tend to do is treat multilingual children like show monkeys by asking them to translate things into another language or say certain words in another language in front of other people. That is simply a no-go. Kids often paralyze and don't know what to say. They even feel ashamed and exposed. Often they don't even know how to say a certain thing in another language, simply because the languages develop depending on the areas they are used. So for example, my son Nils knows many names of specific flowers in German because Ivy, our nanny, stops in front of every flower uh, when they are walking outside and explains to him what the names of these flowers are. That doesn't mean that he automatically knows the words in Spanish or in Danish. He doesn't. Period. So, the idea that a bilingual person is equal to two monolingual people is simply wrong. In my opinion, multilinguals shouldn't be compared to monolinguals in the first place because they are simply not the same. It's like comparing apples with pears. Yes, they are similar. Yes, they are both sweet and both are fruits, but they are still different types of fruits. What's more, no one knows even one language in all fields. Even monolinguals need to expand their vocabulary in specific areas. Why shouldn't this be the case for multilingual people? So, now that you know all this, make sure that your expectations towards your multilingual children match the reality and don't let comments of other people put you or your children under pressure. Think of the languages that you are exposing your children 
to as small seeds that have the potential to grow and become strong and beautiful trees someday. Not every seed will grow equally strong and equally fast. What matters is that you are planting the seeds and doing your best to keep them alive. That is enough. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment telling me if you have ever heard people commenting on the language level of other children. Watch also these videos. Thanks for sticking with me. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.